Asian Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make Mui Lengmyeon Korean cold noodle soup. So, so many of you guys asked me like five, seven years, Tanya, please, please make Mui Lengmyeon recipe, please. I haven't made it yet. Why? Because it's a really intimidating recipe. More than ramen. Yes, I tell you. Naengmyeon in Korea is never ever making at home kind of a dish. It is leave it at the restaurant and let the restaurant people do all the work and let us just pay $3, $5 and just enjoy a bowl. You know what I mean? I especially want to enjoy this dish in the hot weather that you don't want to do anything kind of a day. <laughs> but you guys want it so bad? So here it is. I try to make it easy as possible, but so anyways, the first thing you need is this beef, uh, well, this is tongshimi, so you probably saw this recipe over here, but it's here for a reason, but check it out if you want to know how to make this water kimchi. But before we get into it, let's talk about the beef broth. So naengmyeon is cold noodles, but the broth is based on the beef broth, So and this is how I made it. In a large pot, I'm using nine quart. Place three sheets of your palm-sized tashima, dried seaweed or kombu, and pour 18 cups of cold water. Cover, let it sit for 30 minutes to one hour. This way, we will get all the flavor from the tashima or kombu or dried seaweed or the umami flavor. Okay, meanwhile, the seaweed is soaking in the water. We are going to soak one and a half pound of beef fry tip or brisket in cold water. Just enough cold water to cover the beef. This way we can get rid of those excess blood from the beef, which we don't want in our soup. Remove tashima, the dried seaweed. Right now it's probably like humongous. <laughs> right now you can actually cut this off and top it on your salad and all that stuff. You can definitely eat this, so don't just throw it away like I did. Now drain the beef, rinse one more time under the cold water, and then place it into tashima water. To make this soup really flavorful, we are going to add one large leek that I cut it in half and wash it through every single layer because the leek has a lot of dust or mud. One medium-sized onion that cut in half, four slices of ginger, and three bulbs of garlic that cut it in half. 5 to 6 dried shiitake mushrooms 1 tablespoon of black peppercorns 3 tablespoons of rock sugar or regular sugar 1 cup of soju, Korean liquid No, liquid, li liqueur <laughs> 1 cup of... it is, it is Korean liquid <laughs> 1 cup of soju, this is a Korean uh, alcohol but uh, if you cannot find soju, you can definitely use just uh, sake, rice wine, or uh, vodka. Actually, vodka will do the job too. Two tablespoons of Korean sea salt or any kosher sea salt. Quarter cup of Korean soup soy sauce or light soy sauce. Light in color, not light in salt. Cover and bring it to boil. When it starts boiling, reduce the heat to medium and we are going to simmer for one and a half hours. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot to add my secret ingredient. Without this, the naengmyeon is not gonna taste like a naengmyeon that we used to eat. <laughs> so you, it, this is optional, not optional. It is optional, but it's not. <laughs> you have to add two tablespoons of tashida. Tashida is a Korean uh, beef viong powder. And uh, without tashida, it doesn't matter how awesome your beef stock is, it's not gonna taste the same, okay? So two tablespoons of tashida, go ahead and add. Or you can just use the same amount of, same amount of beef beyond, that works too, but tashida is something about it. It's, that's what makes naengmyeon taste like naengmyeon. <laughs> when it's done cooking, go ahead and remove the beef, and then place in the refrigerator so it will cool completely. Now strain the soup through the strainer, but make sure you cover the strainer with a cooking cloth, like a kitchen cloth or three to four layers of cheese cloth. 
because we do not want any of these bits and pieces from these solid ingredients and we want our beef stock is super clean. And this cloth will also cut off a lot of fat from the beef as well and squeeze really, really good so we can get all the little last drop of flavorful this beef broth for our naengmyeon. Skim the surface of the beef broth one more time with this super fine skimmer and let it cool to room temperature and then cover, place in the refrigerator until completely cooled down. And this is the final product of the beef broth that we made and nice and cooled down. And you can definitely make naengmyeon with only this cold beef broth, okay? Um, to your taste, you can go ahead and add some vinegar, some sugar, or whatever you would like to add, or maybe some, what do you call? The hot mustard. The Asian hot mustard, gyoza. But my favorite mul naengmyeon, mul naengmyeon, is the beef broth mixed with some dongchimi, this uh, reddish water kimchi uh, juice. So I already shared this recipe, like I said earlier, go ahead and check it out right here, or I will put the link down below. You can just click that and watch that video too if you know how to make it. This is a super duper easy, okay? Like you just put it together and let it sit and forget about it <laughs> kind of recipe. So this is super duper easy. I already have one already made. To my taste, two parts of beef broth and one part of this tongchimi uh, juice is the perfection. You know, like a little adjust to your taste. What tongchimi does to the naengmyeon, it gives the natural fermentation, the sour, tangy flavor, and a little sweetness, and a little saltiness. It just, it just works perfect and amazing. Taste it. Oh, I cannot wait. Okay, so we are going to freeze this. I mean, you don't have to. You can just keep it in the refrigerator nice and cold. But, you know, I'm Korean. When I'm eating hot food, I have to be, it has to be boiling hot. When I'm eating cold food, it has to be ice cold. <laughs> That's just how we do. Okay, nabubin, julienne, some cucumber for the topping, and I sliced up my beef then nice and cooled down so I can slice nice and thin. This is also topping for the naengmyeon, and I also hard boiled the egg and cut it in half, and I have boiling water right there to start to cook my noodles. So for naengmyeon, you can actually use dried naengmyeon noodles, they work just fine. But I like this uh, uh, frozen one. I feel like they are a little more chewier texture, but like I said, you can use a dried one. Super easy to find at your local Asian grocery store or uh, online. I will put the link down below online where you can find, okay? So if you are using frozen one like mine, then go ahead and run this in under the cold water, running cold water, and start to break it down a little bit, okay? I will do that. And before I do that, I want to actually explain about another topping. My uh, pickled radish, we call it naengmyeon mu, meaning it's like cold noodles radish. This is like the signature pickled radish that has to go on to the naengmyeon, so this is how I made it. Slice 12 ounce of Korean radish, we call it mu, into very, very thin slices using a mandolin. In a mixing bowl, combine half cup of white distilled vinegar and same amount of sugar and one teaspoon of super fine gochugaru, Korean red pepper flakes, or paprika. So that is only for the color, for a nice and pinky or orangish color for the naengmyeon mu. Whisk until sugar has dissolved all the way to the vinegar. Then add in the radish, combine all together and keep it in the refrigerator in an airtight container. Ta-da! Super easy. And now all I have left is cooking my noodles. Okay, finally, it's time to get together my naengmyeon. Naengmyeon noodles are like really known for super duper chewy, but it's nice and thin. So just gonna keep rolling around my hand. These are like, dude. <laughs> this is why when you order naengmyeon, 
Ajumma always bring you some uh, chopsticks. I mean, I'm not chopstick, a uh, seizure with you. Ooh, so exciting. Okay, that was a little too much. Girl, calm down. Time for the naengmyeon moo, the radish. I eat a lot of this when I'm eating naengmyeon, so this might be too much for some of you, but this is not enough for me. <laughs> then some of the sliced beef. Bam. And some cucumbers. Got to have a cucumber. Oh my gosh, they're like, it's becoming a tower right now, naengmyeon tower. <laughs> And the egg, you can put it like this, but they on old Korean restaurant, they found out put it upside down like this is easier for serving because the egg yolk actually have a little grip and egg white doesn't when you hard boil. So it will stay on top like this. Now the broth. Good job, Sunky. <laughs> and last the finale, crush the sesame seeds. A lot of them. <gasps> oh, Sung you did such a good job. I cannot believe I made this, dude. It's a freaking one of like a top three naengmyeon restaurant in Korea picture kind of uh, a visual right here and tasty too. Oh my goodness. I better call my mom. I, I need to like um, FaceTiming my mom right now with when this, this is so pretty. Can't have anything nice. So this is definitely something, if you've never had cold noodles and then you try to eat noodles cold, you're like, what the heck is going on with my life right now? But when you learn to like it and appreciate it, you're addicted. I feel like I need scissors. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Baby. You got little specks all over your face. You did a good job. That's pretty good. With all the cold noodles I've had, it's probably at least in my top 50. Top 50? Yeah. What the hell? You didn't even have a 50 noodles no, yet. No, this is definitely, this is the, honestly, the best one I've had. Some of the other ones are like too much of a, something else. This is super bad. And some mustard? Uh, very little bit. I like hot mustard. Little bit. This is like you serve with. Mm. It's honestly such a weird combination of foods. I never had a question when I was living in Korea until you were talking about why you eating kosher noodles. I'm like, huh? Why, why you have that question? It's really good. Mm. It's kind of, you know what? All people like similar foods. They just eat them in different ways. It's messy when you're standing up eating noodles, though. But your broth is amazing. If you like my naengmyeon recipe, mul naengmyeon recipe, I said mul naengmyeon. Buy a t-shirt. Oh. Yeah, buy, if you like my mul naengmyeon recipe, buy my merch. <laughs> Okay, okay, thumbs up is fine. <laughs> and subscribe my channel if you haven't, uh, so you don't miss out any of these delicious, authentic Asian recipes that I'm bringing to you. Uh, and yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, and remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Song Young Long Gas. I'm Jacob Long And this is Asian at Home. And we'll see you next time, guys. Bye! And if you make my recipe, please take a picture and tag me, Sangyang Longest, at Instagram or Facebook so I can shout out, like, and comment on your picture. Love you guys. Love you bunches. Hey, baby. <laughs>